uh, it has never really worked for me trying to be someone else uh, and I've realized and experienced how God somehow has been able to use me when I've been myself. Welcome to the Deacon. I'm not the greatest speaker and when I try to deliver a message I often forget details <laughs> and I end up saying e be bu, which you probably noticed if you watched any of my videos. But I am thankful that some people are really great at studying, uh, learning, remembering details and actually teaching it. So there's this thing that a couple of weekends ago, and I'm still thinking about it, that my pastor, Chuck Tate, from Rock Church in East Peoria, a church that actually supports uh, the Bridge Bunch with a sanctuary, uh, Pastor Bob Beeman, Beeman feeding the homeless in Nashville, Tennessee. But uh, he's a great teacher, uh, and he mentioned some details to a story that I've never really grasped before. Okay, so the story goes from Genesis in the Old Testament that Abraham has a son, Isaac. Isaac has twin sons, Esau and Jacob. Esau is the firstborn, and back then the dad will give a special blessing to the firstborn when he's about to, to die. And somehow Jacob lies to his dad and gets the blessing and he does get the blessing it's 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 kind of a crazy story uh, he gets the blessing and he he lives a life he doesn't get killed or uh, anything along those lines but he does need to flee so it's not the greatest life even though he has a blessing uh, then about 21 years later, uh, Jacob uh, falls asleep, and then he, a guy, which is uh, an angel of God, uh, uh, wrestles with Jacob throughout the whole night, like really fist fighting and wrestling. And uh, back when Jacob lied to his dad and got Esau's blessing, his dad, Isaac, asked Jacob, who are you? And Jacob says, I am your son Esau. Straight up lie. And he lied about his identity to get the blessing. A blessing that caused him to flee, run away for his life, uh, run away from his uh, home country and everything he, he knew. Now, 21 years later, this, uh, this man or angel of God uh, it's debated God himself was wrestling with him and Jacob says I'm not letting you go before you bless me and, uh, and this person angel uh, says what is your name and Jacob says my name is Jacob then uh, the man of the angel uh, blesses Jacob Jacob lets him go and he leaves at, uh, at dawn. And, and after that, this is the true blessing. This is the blessing for Jacob as himself. Uh, he's, he's admitting who he is and God can, can bless that. After that, he actually goes and reconciles with his brother Esau, whom he lied to uh, those 21 years earlier. Uh, and it made me think that, yeah, definitely I can see it in, in my own life that amazingly God has been able to, to use me when, even though I feel weak and I have nothing to give, but I try to, to be myself. And I think that's where we as believers can be a testimony when people say, see that we are real, that we are honest. Uh, we admit our shortcomings and uh, we uh, strive to be the best, to be the best me that I can be, the best you that you can be. And that's also why in Sanctuary Denmark we, we have the slogan, uh, 
a sanctuary for Christian metalheads, metalheads and Christians. So if you're a Christian and you love the, the, the fellowship that we've got going on, but you don't like metal, don't try to be someone else. Don't try it. Of course, it's, we can have fun listening to it and you can dress in black if you want. And, but but come, come as you are, because that's what, uh, what Christ has asked us to. And we come as we are and, and try to be shaped by, by his love and to share that love that he has. So try to be the best you you can be, starting with being honest, admitting your shortcomings, and God can really use you. Yeah, it is amazing. Like I'm a testimony of God being able to use me. And if you ask anyone, any other Christians to just share your stories, you'll see how, how God can use us all. Yeah. All the biggest and greatest heroes of the Bible, they had definitely had shortcomings, but they admitted it and God could use them. All right, so may the peace and uh, love and encouragement of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today. See you.